Good morning, friends. Today is Sunday, December 6th, and it is the second Sunday of this season called Advent. Thanks for joining me for our morning prayers in Children's Chapel. Remember, you can grab your bulletin if you'd like to read along or just follow along with me. Our prayers are pretty easy this season. Are you ready? Let's begin. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Four, three, two, one. Count the weeks till Jesus comes. Each week we add a light, our hope for Jesus burning bright. Very good. And now our song of Advent. Advent is a time to wait, not quite time to celebrate. Count the candles one by one until baby Jesus comes. We work and play and pray each day till it's time for Christmas Day. Very nice. Now, with a grown-up's help to be safe, we will light our Advent wreath. Last week, we lit the first candle. Do you remember what it was for? This is the candle of hope. And it reminds us of the prophets. Prophets were people who came so close to God and God came so close to them that they knew what was most important. The prophets spoke hope to the people of God during a very difficult time and told them of a wonderful king that was to come. This week, we light the second candle. This candle represents peace. Let's enjoy this light. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as one body you have been called to peace. This candle also reminds us of the Holy Family that began with a young couple, a young woman named Mary and a young man named Joseph who received what seemed like impossible news, but through their trust in God, they found peace in the mystery that was to come. And that's our story for today. Angel's Visit from the Spark Story Bible. Mary was a beautiful young woman. She lived in a town called Nazareth and was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. One day, a handsome man appeared in front of Mary. His clothes were brilliant, his hair was dark and curly, and his eyes sparkled like lights. Mary wondered if this man might be an angel. Hello, Mary, he said. God is with you. Mary stepped backward. His deep voice startled her. Don't be afraid, he said. God sent me to tell you that you are going to have a son who you'll name Jesus. He is going to be very important to many people. A son? But I'm not married yet, she said. How can this happen? The Holy Spirit will come to you. The angel replied, your son will be the son of God. The son of God? My son? Mary thought about all these things. It didn't seem possible, but she believed anything was possible for God. I am God's servant. I'll do whatever God says, she said, but her mind was racing what will Joseph think? Would he believe her? Mary felt nervous. 
When Mary told Joseph about the angel and about giving birth to God's son, Joseph did just what she was afraid he would do. He didn't believe her. He talked about maybe not marrying her anymore. Mary felt so sad, but she remembered what the angel said, and she trusted God. But the next day, something wonderful happened. Joseph came to her and said, an angel came to me in a dream. He said, Joseph, don't be afraid to make Mary your wife. She is going to have a son and you are going to name him Jesus. He will save people from their sins. Mary smiled a big smile. She was so happy that tears of joy filled her eyes and trickled down her cheeks. She could feel Joseph's love. I am not afraid for you to be my wife, Mary, he said. I will be with you, and we will name this baby Jesus. Our trust and faith in God gives us all a sense of peace, even when times are hard. I wonder what else gives you that feeling of peace? I know I like to curl up with a nice warm blanket and that helps me feel a sense of peace. What brings you peace? And now friends, we say together the words that Jesus taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now God be with us as we go in peace and in hope to love and serve you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Have a wonderful week, friends. I will see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.